Live. Good morning, everybody. Mr. H here. Welcome back to another group. Um, we have some more friends with us in the chat today. I hope you guys are doing well at home. The weather is turning. It is starting to become really nice outside. I hope you're able to get outside for some walks with your family. Um, so we're going to go quickly around the room today and see who's joining us. All right. First up, we have Miss Maba. How are you doing today, Miss Maba? I'm doing excellent. Good morning. Good morning. And we also have Miss Talaga. Miss Talaga, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good morning. Good morning. And Miss L. Miss L, how are you? Good morning. I am fantastic. Good, good, good. Mr. Grafton, how are you today? Yeah, all good. Nice sunny day. Looking out the window. Yeah, all good. Beautiful, beautiful. And last but certainly not least, uh, we have Mr. D. Mr. D, how are you doing today? I'm good. Good morning. Oh, there he is. <laughs> good morning, Mr. D. All right, friends. So as usual, we are going to jump into our schedule. We're going to take a peek at that right away. So today we're going to start off with calendar as we do. We are going to jump from there to our question of the day. We're going to have another show and tell. Today's show and tell is brought to you by Mrs. Maba. We're going to do a couple races today and then share a few goodbyes. OK, so friends, as usual, we're just going to give you a quick reminder that as we go through this video, please feel free to take some pauses, hit that pause button, answer the questions, participate along with us, even though you're not in the video with us, even though we can't see you right now. We really encourage you to participate throughout the video, right? And that's how you're going to get the most um, benefit from watching these videos. So please take a minute to answer those questions with us, right? Talk right to that screen as if we're right there listening to you, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with our calendar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. just got to pull it up. Hold on. Sometimes it takes a minute. There we go. All right. So here is our calendar. Let's go. Yippee! It's April 2020. Let's make a calendar. All right, folks. Let's make our calendar. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Right on. So well, let's start us this off. Uh, Miss L, what is the date today? Today is Thursday, April 23rd. Ooh, Thursday, April 23rd. I believe she is correct on that. Great job. <laughs> today is Thursday. April 23rd, 2020. So yes, indeed, folks, it is April 23rd. It is Thursday. So let's go over to Miss Maba. Miss Maba, if today is Thursday, April 23rd, what will tomorrow be? Tomorrow will be Friday, April 24th, 2020. Ooh, I think she's right. So if you look over here, folks, with me at my cursor, it is indeed the 24th tomorrow. OK, so Mr. Grafton, if today is Thursday, April 23rd, what was yesterday? Well, yesterday was Earth Day, April 22nd, 2020. Yeah, so it was Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Yes, and Mr. Grafton highlighted it is it was Earth Day. Mm -hmm. So people celebrating our planet, and the environment and making sure we're being nice and kind right to our environment all right folks so today is indeed thursday thursday the 23rd 23rd great job all right friends so friends at home reminder reminder that we are going to be putting in things that um, are special or um, have come up or have passed in april for us here but again reminder at home i encourage you to to look at your calendar and add in things that have been 
occurring for you or that are coming up for you as well. Um, so let's start off. Um, I know by this point, it's probably a broken record for you folks, but it is my wife's birthday next week. <laughs> Not sure what we're going to do, but it's nice. April 7th, a few days away. So um, Mr. H will have to scramble around for that one. Hey, <laughs> all right. Let's go around. Miss me, but anything special that happened this month for you or that's coming up in the last few days of April? No, I don't think so. No, I, okay. it's a quiet month in my house. Right on, right on. How about you, Miss L? Sorry, could you repeat? Uh, anything special, Miss L, that happened this month for you or that's coming up? Um, no, I'm just happy the weather is going to be a lot nicer. That is true. It has been a lot better, a lot better. Um, how about you, Miss Talaga? Well, I guess all I can say is it was my daughter's birthday on April 5th. I think I told you guys last time. April 5th, yeah, way up here, hey? There yeah. we go. How about you, Mr. D? Well, April is my birth month, so yeah, I just I celebrated my birthday last April 11th. April Anything special this April. Oh, very cool. And Mr. Grafton, anything special this month happened for you? Uh, yeah, about four or five days ago, my niece Sarah had a son. Oh, uh, she had a baby. Yeah, her that was number two, and uh, they named him Rupert. <laughs> oh, Rupert! <laughs> Interesting pick, Rupert. That was his name. Very cool. But Very this cool. is this this the second one was even cooler. Uh, my family, I have uh, nine siblings, mm -hmm. so we have a big family. Uh, on Sunday at one o'clock, we all got together and we did this on Zoom. Wow! We all got together for an hour, an hour and about fifteen minutes. It was, it was like having a meeting, like but with all mem members of your family. It was pretty cool. Yeah, quite enjoyed it. So nine, nine siblings. Wow, that is a lot yeah. of siblings, Mr. Grafton. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No twins, no triplets, all singles. My poor mom. Wow. <laughs> right on. Did you say? Pregnant Good for 20 for years. My mom was pregnant for 20 years. <laughs> wow. So. All right, friends. Yeah. So the weather is turning and it is starting to get nice out. So I like this one. Things are starting to turn green out there. People are going for nice walks, making sure that they are giving themselves that little bit of social distance. And that concludes our calendar for today, guys. All right. All right, so we are going to go back to our group here. All right, we are going to look at our schedule here and check off the calendar. All right, so now we are going to jump into question of the day. So friends, question of the day today is, hold on, I'm just going to pull it up here. Question of the day today falls under a bit of a category, so we got, we got to listen carefully, okay? So today's question of the day is, Last time is what is your favorite outdoor activity? Today's is what is your favorite fruit? Okay, so you got to think carefully. You got to think about the category of fruit. We talked about food categories in the past, so I want you to think at home long and hard about what falls under fruit, right? So, for example, does candy fall under fruit? Not really. Does milk fall under fruit? Not really, right? So think about your favorite fruit, okay? All right, so who's in the group today? Well, Mr. H is here. Mr. D is here. Miss L is here. Miss Talaga is here. Miss Maba is here. And Mr. Grafton is here, okay? So those are all of our participants today. So we're going to go ahead and spin this fun wheel and we're going to see who's going to answer the question first 
of what is your favorite for root. Okay, so let's spin that wheel. All right, looks like Miss Talaga, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit, berries. Berries, ooh, cherries. all the berries. Oh, um, berries. cherries are my favorite. Mmm, cherries. You know what's a fun fact, Miss Talaga? Cherries are probably my least favorite fruit. <laughs> I mean, we're just, we're just different, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, let's spin that wheel. All right, Miss L, what is your favorite fruit? I love blackberries. Blackberries. Ooh, that's a good choice. That is a good choice. Mm -hmm. Blackberries. All right, let's spin that wheel. All right, looks like Miss Maba. Miss Maba, what's your favorite fruit? Well, this is a hard one because there's so many. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna say blueberries because when I was young, Probably our students' ages. I used to go and pick wild blueberries all the time, and my mother used to make homemade blueberry pies all the time. Ooh. So I'm going to say blueberries. That does sound good. Yeah. Blueberry pie is tasty. All right, blueberries. So we have blackberries, we have cherries, we have blueberries, lots of different fruit. <laughs> All right, Mr. D. Mr. D, what's your favorite fruit? Um, I like tropical fruits. My favorite is watermelon. Oh, watermelon. That's especially in summer. Watermelon That's is a good one. Fantastic. Yes. Refreshing, yeah. All right, let's spin that wheel. Let's see who's next. Oh, looks like it might be me. So my favorite fruit, you know, I like fruit a lot. So my favorite, the fruit I probably eat most often is bananas. I have a banana almost every day, but I'm kind of with Mr. D in terms of uh, watermelon, cantaloupe. Those are probably my favorite tasting fruit. Yeah, watermelon. All right, well, let's remove. And we'll spin it. Got It might be me. Oh. <laughs> All right, Mr. Grafton, what is your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit, I'm surprised nobody had mentioned it. You, you had Travis, but I, I choose the humble banana. It's ever since, I, it's been my favorite forever. Yeah, right on. Yeah. Bananas, bananas very good just the banana itself, but bananas in jello, banana cream pie, banana split. Oh boy. Jello. Love them all. <laughs> Yeah, that. bananas and jello. You bet. Bananas and red jello. <laughs> Believe me, my mom had to be inventive with all those kids. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so folks. That, so the, that the, the humble banana. That's my choice. So that's the question of the day. So again, reminder at home, the question of today was, what is your favorite fruit? Okay. So you might have to take a minute to remember what falls under the fruit category, right? So berries, apples, bananas, melons, right? So think at home, what is Mr. your- Mr. Strange, can I ask one quick question? Yeah. What about tomatoes? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, <laughs> yes, a lot of people- No way. A lot of fruit people- Fruit or veggie. Whether or not a tomato fruit or, veggie. Is fruit mm. or a vegetable, right? I just so thought maybe you can at home, trouble. If you can figure out if a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable. I um, thought it was fruit. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I'm just making trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All true, Mr. Grafton. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on with our show and tell today. So, our show and tell today comes from uh, comes to us from Miss Maba, who's in the chat today. So, Miss Maba shared a awesome activity with us um, that you might be able to do at home. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about this activity, but we might as well share it first and then jump into a little bit of a discussion. So. 
Let's watch this video. Hi everybody, this is Ava here. I wanted to show you my artwork that I displayed on my living room windows in my front of my house. Here's one of my windows. It says thank you to all the medical staff and support workers that are helping. So I cut out all the letters and hearts just to make it fun on the front of my house. I'll go to another window. making sure that everybody is safe and all that. So that's Mrs. Mava's artwork. They're saying, or they're suggesting if you want to put some flowers on your windows, some teddy bears or some hearts, make a rainbow which symbolizes hope. If you do something fun, do some artwork, put it on your windows, even cover your page. Put them on your front windows and let everybody see them. Okay, that's what Mrs. Mava's been up to. Thanks everybody, stay bye. All right, that is a fantastic Hi, video, Miss Mayba. <laughs> Good one, Wendy. <laughs> um, well, it was windy that day. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little windy, but that's okay. So, Miss Mayba, we're going to talk a little bit, and everybody in the chat. So, what Miss Mayba showed us there is she decorated her windows in honor of what people you might be hearing the words like frontline workers and basically what that means is people that work in hospitals or in medical professions right helping people that are getting sick right now okay or think they might be sick right now okay so as you go through your neighborhoods you might you might be seeing some other houses decorated miss Mabel is decorated great um so about well, what's a healthcare professional? Maybe we go around the room. So, what kind of people are we honoring right now with some decorations on our windows? Oh, you can you give me some more examples? Okay, Maybe. I'll start. Sure. Well, the truckers that are bringing food to all the stores so that we can go and buy groceries. We need yeah. Groceries. So they're they're picking it up from the suppliers and driving it and dropping it off at the grocery stores for us to shop. For sure. Yeah, those people are very important right now. That's for sure. Uh, Mr. G, you got another example of who people are, are really honoring right now? Um, yes. Um, one of them are the nurses. Nurses. Awesome. That's a good example, yeah. The yeah. nurses are working so hard right now, right? They're putting themselves... Uh, they're putting in a ton of effort to make sure that people are being nice and healthy in hospitals. Um, Mr. Grafton, who else are we honoring in, in terms of uh, our, our artwork? Well, I'd like to thank Leonard because I was going to say nurses also. Uh, yeah. Two of my sisters are nurses. Oh, and right. They're on. on the front lines. They're, they're banging away. They're on the front lines right now. Right on. Right on. As a, as a sideline, uh, my daughter is a social worker and she also is, is front lining too. Uh, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've, I haven't seen these guys in four, four weeks. My yeah. sister's her daughter. You know. So, and uh, what else? Uh, a friend of mine is a doctor in Kelowna. One of my yeah, best doctors. friends. And he is like, it's boy. He yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if I'd want to be a doctor or a nurse right now, but uh, they're very brave and they they are heroes. They really yeah. are. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. L, is there anybody else that we're saying thank you to right now with our artwork? Um, I want to say the researchers who are trying to look for a vaccine. Ah, that's a really good one, too. That is a, good, a good one. one. Yeah. There's people yeah. that are trying to research this whole coronavirus and figure out how we can all safely go back to schools and go back to different workplaces. That's a great one. And Ms. Talaga, um, uh, anybody else that you can think of that we were saying thank you to with our artwork? Well, some of the people that we sometimes forget that can that are very important to us and put up with a lot and dealing with us on the front lines too, are the people that work in the grocery stores, uh, the cashiers, and um, a lot of times yeah, these one. people are getting 
um, you know, yelled at or not talked to very nicely from customers because they're out of stock or they have to wait in line and they don't like yeah. the rules. So they really are, you know, on our front lines too. Those people are so important. If people didn't want to work at the grocery stores anymore, it'd be really hard for us to get our food, right? So we're saying thank you to those people as well. So those are some fantastic examples of people that we're saying thank you to. So friends at home, and if caregivers are watching this video with you, we are encouraging that you do talk to the adults in your house and make sure you do have permission before you start putting things on your windows. But if you do have permission after you actually ask your parents, certainly uh, Miss Maybe gave some great ideas. You can put some words on your windows. People are putting flowers and hearts and big thank yous or even just some artwork you've done. I know many of our friends, many, many of our friends at school in room 3739 um, love doing coloring pages. You know, putting out some of your coloring pages, I think is a great idea. Make it personal, right? So that is a fantastic idea. Thank you again, Miss Maba, for sharing that. We are gonna go jump back into our schedule. And that was show and tell, all right. So friends, we're going to jump into a couple of our, our favorite activities is our races. So I have two races lined up for us today. So remember, friends at home, um, when we're doing our races, um, we're going to try and take our time and answer in as big of a sentence as we can. And if, for some people, if that's just a short sentence, right, maybe it's one word, maybe it's just a color that works. But challenge yourself, right, and challenge your student if you are uh, a caregiver watching this to answer in as big a sentence uh, as you can. And again, a reminder, if you need to hit pause to take some extra time to answer the question, um, that is great. So as we go around the circle, we will be doing some modeling of different ways that we can answer these questions with our language, right? So sometimes someone might model a very, very long sentence and sometimes they might model a very short sentence and that's okay too, okay? So we are gonna start off with a race on canoes. So our canoe race looks a little bit like this. Okay, so this first race, we have a purple canoe, we have a green canoe, we have a red canoe, and we have a yellow <coughs> canoe, okay? So I know there's, they're numbered, but for this race at home, I want you to think about the color, okay? So I challenge you to, to identify which color you think will win the race, okay? So is it purple, is it green, is it red, or is it yellow? OK, and we are going to mark our answers down with a little chart at home. So again, our options are purple, green, red or yellow. And these are the canoes. So we're going to go around the circle or not circle. I keep saying circle. It's not quite a story. We're going to go around <laughs> our chat here and ask which color canoe do you think will win the race? So I'm going to first ask Miss. Talaga, which color canoe do you think will win the race? Purple, please. Purple, please. Right on. So the, I was going to write purple. <laughs> Miss Talaga thinks purple will win the race. Great. Uh, Mr. Grafton, which color canoe do you think will win the race? Well, um, on our canoe trips, I was always in a little green Brigden canoe. So I will pick the green canoe. I will pick the green canoe. That's a great way of identifying. So Mr. Grafton, beautiful. All right, Mr. D, which color canoe do you think will win the race? I think the red canoe will win the race. I think the red canoe, that's a great sentence. Mr. D, right on. All right, Miss L, who do you think, what color canoe do you think will win the race? I would be very happy if the purple canoe won the race. Ooh, so she added a little bit extra to her sentence, right? So she said, I'd be very happy if purple won the race, right? So you can experiment with your sentences at home, right? And Miss Mako, who do you think will win the race? My favorite color is red. So I think the red canoe will win the race. And I come from a town that is the canoe capital of Canada. <laughs> Right on. You did what? it. <laughs> and now, last but not least, it's Mr. H's turn. And I think the green canoe will win the race. Wow, poor yellow. 
Or yellow, <laughs> yes. Or yellow. So take some time at home, look at purple, green, red, or yellow, and think about who will win the race. Okay, so we have two votes for purple. One, two. We have two votes for green. One, two. And we have two votes for red. One, two. And we have no votes for yellow in this group here. So we're going to jump back into our race. We're going to pull up our canoes. And we are going to start this race. All right, Mr. Grafton, give me a three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. All right. Ah! Go, 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 go. Yay. Come on, triple. Uh-oh, this, this is a fast race. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Dad, go. <laughs> It's yellow canoes for the top of yellow. There goes green. Oh, come on. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think this race is too long. Uh, what's that yellow doing? Stop. <laughs> All right, here comes green. There you go. Nine. Eight. Go, Mr. Grafton. And Five. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Green, there it is. Oh. Hey. Good Look at that. <laughs> so, folks, folks, let's take a look. It was a green canoe that won. Let's take a look at our list here and found out, find out who guessed green. So it looks like Mr. Grafton and Mr. H guessed green. Okay. So that's fine. But if you didn't guess green, that's fine, too. Okay. So which other canoe did you guess at home? All right, folks. So... That was race number one, the green canoe one. So let's take a look at race number two. So race number two today are robots. Okay. So this is what race number two looks like. So in race number two, we're not gonna be talking about colors. We're gonna be talking about numbers. Okay, so we have number one, we have number two, we have number three, and we have number four. So take a minute at home, take a minute in the chat here to think about, do you want number one, number two, number three, or number four, okay? So those are our robots, all right? So we are going to jump out of there, and we're going to go back to our list here, and we're going to find out, do you want number one? two, three, or four. So we're going to start this time. Miss Mabel, which number robot do you think will win the race? I think number two, because the feet are, is a wheel. Oh, that's a great reason. Miss Mabel thinks number two. All right, Mr. D. Mr. D, which number robot do you think will win the race? I have a strong feeling that number four, robot number four, will win the race. Great. That was a great sentence, Mr. D. Uh, Mr. Grafton, which number robot do you think will win the race? Well, I like number two. I agree with Miss Maba. I like that wheel under there. Okay, so I, Mr. I Grafton will be the fastest. I pick number two. So he, yes, he gave some some reasons why he liked number two. So you can even, if you if you want, you can think about why are you picking that particular robot. So Mr. Grafton liked number two as well. All right. Miss Talaga, which number robot do you think will win this race? I think number one will will be the fastest. Ooh. One will be the fastest, yeah. So Good if you're pick. the fastest, you're going to win that race, yeah. That's a great way to phrase it. Okay, and Miss L, which number robot do you think will win the race? Um, I think number three will win the race. Miss L thinks number three will win the race. Okay, and Mr. H's turn. And I think that robot number three will win the race as well. So I agree with Miss L. Okay. So in this race, folks, we have one person that thinks robot number one will win. We have two people that think robot number two will win. We have two people that think robot number three will win, and we have one person that thinks robot number four will win. All right. 
So let's bring up our robot race. Remember at home, take a minute, think about which robot you would like to win the race and make sure that you say it out loud either with your voice or with your iPad, if that works for you. All right, we're going to click on to our race here. Let's find those robots. Here they are. All right, um, Mr. D, why don't you give us a three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. Right on. Oh, these guys are much better. Oh, that oh look at that number two. Go, go, go. Look at them go. Uh oh. Number three is working <laughs> real hard. Oh, he's falling back. Number one's coming up again. Let's go, guys. Oh. Uh. Miss Mabar, a guy needs to grease his wheel there. Uh -oh. Juice! Come on! Uh oh, uh oh. This guy's working hard. Number, number two, one. you're a slowpoke. Come on, number two. Ten seconds left. Uh oh. Oh, look at number two. Uh oh, uh oh. It's a tight race, folks. Who's it gonna be? Uh oh, uh oh. oh. Well done, number three. So number three is the winner. So go. So let's check out who gets number three in our list here in the group. The number three was oh, Mr. H and Miss L. Mr. H was two for two. Pretty good. All right. So think about it at home. Did you guess number three? Congratulations. If you didn't, that's okay too. We're just here to have some fun and use our language to the best of our ability. So, um, so friends, we're going to check back in here. That was an awesome couple races. We're going to check in with our schedule, see where we're at. So that concludes our races. So folks, that just leaves us with a goodbye today. So we're going to go around the room here and uh, share a quick parting thought. And then we will see you next week. Next Tuesday is our next um, recording day. Okay, so. Let's go back to our group here. And we're gonna stop sharing that. So let's go around the room and uh, parting thought. Miss Talaga, anything uh, you wanna leave our friends with today? Just that I hope everybody is well and staying busy. I miss you all and I can't wait until next time. Bye. Right on. Mr. Grafton, any parting words today? Uh, I share the same sentiment. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy this time. Uh, we should do, you know, be, it'd be interesting to get a, a student in here, you know, if, if that could happen. Maybe, but, uh, yeah. We can look at it. But, uh, you know, We're it's nice seeing everybody's smiling faces. Yeah. Anyway, nice seeing everyone's smiling faces. And, uh, yeah, see you next week. Yep. All right, right on. Mr. D, Mr. D, uh, any parting thoughts today? Yeah, I wish everyone safe and healthy and uh, let's enjoy the weather outside. Right on, right on. Uh, Miss L, any parting thoughts today? Um, I just hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, and I miss you all. Beautiful. And Miss Maba, any parting thoughts today from you? Well, I miss everybody, but I want everybody to make a craft and put on the window to decorate the window because they look lovely outside when you go for a walk. So, enjoy. Have fun. So a reminder, Miss friends, you. yes, that was our show and tell today from Miss Mava. So make sure you double check with your parents. But artwork is beautiful. People, when they walk by and they see that artwork, it brings a smile to their face, right? So that's a great thing we can provide. Um, so friends, that concludes our group today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and we will see you again next Tuesday. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Until Stay next safe. time. Take care.